Hey there 3D artists! In this video I want to start a new series that I'm going to call Shane Recommends and in case you're wondering the title is heavily inspired by extra credits James Recommends so I apologize for my lack of creativity there but what I wanted to do with this series was to give you recommendations to further resources other than my own channel to help you to continue to develop as an artist. So in this first video of the series, we're going to focus on YouTube channels that focus on using Maya. So let's jump into it. 3D X. So I think this one stands for 3D Extrude. And this is a channel that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. I'm not sure of the name of the chap that runs this channel, but he does some really cool stuff. Starting out in Maya, he goes through a kind of full game ready workflow so he generally creates a base mesh in Maya uh, then he moves it to ZBrush or ZBrush for the high poly sculpt he then moves on to Substance Painter where he'll bake his maps and do some really cool texturing and he's got this kind of signature hand painted look um, although most of his stuff isn't really hand painted it's procedurally done so it's really clever he also has some really awesome tutorials that he does from time to time so the majority of his stuff recently has been um, like time-lapse stuff uh, but he's got some really good tutorials in there as well there's one that I'm a massive fan of where he models like an old-school looking computer quite a stylized one but he goes through the whole process and one of the things that's amazing that he does in this video is he keeps tidying his topology so when he bevels and he's left with n-gons he actually sorts them out so that he's dealing with quads and triangles again which is brilliant so if you haven't checked this guy out already I strongly recommend that you do. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Mr. H. So again, I don't actually know what this fella's called other than Mr. H, but this channel is kind of quite undersubscribed for the level of quality that he's got there. If you're a beginner for Maya and just learning 3D modeling, then he's a really good person to go to. He covers a lot of the basics and he does it really well. He's also got some kind of really well built exerciser so I uh, borrowed one of his exercises this year on extruding where he almost uses like a worksheet in Maya um, to trace to cover some different extrusion methods which I think was really cool. He also covers some simple character modeling uh, which he does really effectively and that's really worth checking out and some really good animation stuff as well. So as I said if you're new to Maya this should be on your YouTube subscription list definitely MH tutorials so uh, Mike Hermes channel has been around for a long time I would guess if you subscribe to my channel you probably subscribe to him as well but I can't really list all the best channels on YouTube for 3d modeling using Maya without mentioning Mike's channel one of the best things about this channel is that he's like prolific He's probably the most consistent uploader of videos on the whole of YouTube when it comes to my tutorials. And he, you know, he's a single entity, not like the official Autodesk channel where they've got, you know, they're a company. Uh, he does it all himself and he does a really good job of it. He tends to do quite small self-contained tutorials uh, and he covers a range of things. And I would say that he's quite a good one to subscribe to just to kind of watch how he approaches modeling because he uses a lot of different tools each time uh, and you'll pick up a workflow from him uh, that you can then use yourself to solve your own problems when you're modeling your own 3D assets. Carol Ashley. As far as I can tell, Carol Ashley is in a similar position to myself in that she's a teacher somewhere. Uh, I think she's uploaded showreels of her students' work from time to time. In addition to that, she puts on some really good multi-part tutorials covering some fairly intermediate stuff. So there's some good beginner stuff on her channel, but some tutorials that go beyond that as well. As you can see, she's under 7,000 subscribers. So again, there's some really good content on this channel and the number of subscribers doesn't reflect how good the videos are. Some of the videos done by Carol that I think are the most useful are the ones on modeling a character head. And she also has some overall character modeling for simple stylized characters as well which are really good so if you're looking to get into character modeling definitely check out her channel flipped normals so i probably haven't watched as many videos on this channel as i have on some of the others but i'm finding that i'm going to this channel more and more often as far as i can tell it's a couple of guys 3d artists 
and they tend to have a subject and they'll talk about it. Uh, and that format works really well. They don't just cover Maya, they cover lots of different 3D applications and lots of different disciplines. So there's some really good um, ZBrush things on there. But the stuff that they do have for Maya is pretty good as well. So I think that if you're a 3D artist at all, Flip Normal should be something that you subscribe to. You won't be disappointed. Academic Phoenix Plus. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of um, the, I'm assuming lady judging by the, the picture. I'm not sure who this lady is that, that runs this channel, but some really good Maya tutorials again. So um, I've signposted some of my students to some of the more simple modeling and texturing tutorials that this channel does. There's a really good one that covers making a barrel uh, that works quite well. But there's also some stuff on this channel that I don't really touch. So uh, recently there's been some decent Arnold lighting tutorials and also kind of compositing uh, things from Maya into real world scenes as well. So this is definitely another channel that you should be checking out. Alex Cheperev. So my final channel in this list is another really good one where the subscriber count is far below where I think it should be for the quality of videos. So Alex, and Alex, if you see this video, I apologize if I butchered your surname, your last name. But Alex has put together some really good videos. He's clearly put a lot of time into them and they are pretty good to follow. Uh, and what I like is he tends to have things on here that are a little bit more complicated, a little bit more advanced than say channels such as uh, Mike Hermes or Mr. H. So he's got a really good um, series on modeling a Stormtrooper helmet, which I think works really well. He's also got a good tutorial on modeling a hand, which can be notoriously difficult, uh, especially if you're new to 3D modeling. So I strongly recommend that you check his channel out too. Okay, so that wraps up the list for this video. I've not contacted any of these channels to let them know that I'll be making this video. So if you do check their channels out, just let them know that, that I sent you and maybe I'll hear back from them and that'd be quite cool. But I think especially for some of the, the channels here that don't have the subscribers, let's see if we can raise their subscriber count a little bit. We'll all become better 3D artists as a result of the exposure to lots of different tutorials and ways of working. So with that being said, I've tried to choose channels here that kind of follow the same philosophy of myself where I don't want to charge for the, the content that I'm putting up there and all the tutorials on these are free as well. So this is a, an alternative to some of the paid ways of learning. That being said, if you want something that's more comprehensive than you can get on YouTube, then it's well worth checking out the courses on Plural Sight. I will leave a link in the description below to get a 10 day free trial to Plural Sight if you're interested in checking that out. I'm a member of Plural Sight in addition to subscribing to all these channels as well because I just try to surround myself with as much inspiration and opportunities to learn as I can uh, because it's a really fast moving industry and it's easy to get left behind. So keeping up is really important. Okay, so this video is a little bit different. If it worked for you and you want me to continue sort of recommending different channels, um, resources, ways of learning, then let me know that in the comments below. I am on a mission to try and upload videos more often. Uh, and so in doing that, I'm going to be trying out different ideas, but hopefully all of these will benefit you in some way. Kind of the mission of the channel is to help people become better 3D artists and eventually game developers as well. I'm, I'm hoping to kind of cover some game development stuff. Okay, the final thing I want to do is to thank my patrons. And I just want to give a shout out to this month's newest patron supporters. And they are David Prince. Trey McLeod, Megan Wiseman, Roxanne Luna, and Jacqueline Toll. So thanks for your support, guys. Thanks to everyone else who's supporting me on Patreon. It really does help me to do what I do and to keep it all free. With that said, thank you so much for watching and making it to the end. And I will see you in another video very soon. Laters!